Hello students and welcome to the online lecture series. Myself, Dr. S.R. Patil, I am working as assistant professor in chemistry at the SVKT Arts, Science and Commerce College, Devalali Camp. Dear student, today's session for the FYBSC students, for the FYBSC class and the course name is the analytical chemistry. This course is included in the FYBSC curriculum in the second section or in the semester second for the second term. The code of the course is the CH202. From this course, here today we discuss the chapter number from 4 that is the chromatographic technique. Now the uh, session agenda for the today's session is first we discuss about the chromatography, what is mean by chromatography, their definitions and the basic part of the chromatography techniques. Then we had uh, here, sorry, we have discussed about the types of chromatography or we can also say that the classification of chromatography. Then uh, we discuss uh, some uh, types of the chromatography like the column chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, paper chromatography, then the thin layer chromatography and finally uh, we discuss advantages and limitations of chromatographic techniques with the application of all the chromatographic techniques. Now we start with the uh, some basic point about the chromatographic technique. In that what is mean by chromatography uh, here we discuss. Chromatography is a physical technique or it is a physical method which is used for the separation, identification and the purification of components of a mixture. This technique of chromatography was uh, introduced or discovered by the scientist Michael Twist and the, uh, developed by the Martin and co-workers in 1941. Dear student, we know that chromatography involved the two uh, steps. In the first step, there is a stationary phase in that the finally divided uh, solid or liquid coated on the inner wall of the solid support act as a stationary phase. And the second step or second phase is the mobile phase and it may be a liquid or gas. The definition of the chromatography uh, by the IUPAC is the chromatography is a physical process where the components that means the solutes of a sample mixture are separated as a result of their differential distribution between the stationary phase and the mobile phase. Then what is the principle of this technique? In that the mobile phase act as a driving force while the stationary phase which is act as a retarding force. And the retardation is due to the adsorption of the components on that uh, solid surface or maybe partition of components between the two phases, stationary phase and the mobile phase. The constituent of mixture differs in their adsorption and the desorption behavior hence get separated from each other. So this is the principle on which the separation of components is done by the chromatographic technique. The uh, principle is explained uh, simply by the matchbox model. In that this model explains the separation mechanism of the two solutes on the basis of their different solubility in the two phases. That means in the stationary phase and the uh, mobile phase. So it explains the mechanism involved in the liquid liquid types of chromatography. Next important point is the classification of the chromatographic technique. This is a chart of classification of chromatographic technique. Chromatography is uh, classified into two classes adsorption chromatography and partition chromatography. When we discuss about the adsorption chromatography, in the adsorption chromatography the uh, stationary phase is a solid while when stationary phase is solid and the mobile phase is liquid that time the chromatographic type is solid liquid type. When we use the stationary phase as a solid and the mobile phase as a gas this is the solid gas type of chromatography. An example of solid gas of type of chromatography is a gas chromatography while uh, the example of a solid liquid type of chromatography are the column chromatography, thin layer chromatography and ion exchange chromatography. In the second class of the chromatography is a partition type of chromatography. In the partition type of chromatography, the stationary phase is a liquid 
okay and when we use a mobile phase as a liquid that uh, type of chromatography is a liquid liquid type of chromatography an example of liquid liquid type of chromatography is a paper chromatography and the gel chromatography while when we use a stationary phase liquid and the mobile phase is gas that type of chromatography is a gas liquid type of chromatography an example is a gas liquid type of chromatography this is the classification or the type of uh, chromatography now we discuss here some uh, theoretical points or theory uh, behind the chromatographic technique okay in that here we discuss the theoretical plates and efficacy of the chromatographic column we know that the efficacy of the chromatographic column is uh, described in the terms of theoretical plate so during the chromatographic separation there is a distribution and the redistribution of the solute between the two phases that means in a stationary phase and the mobile phase the equilibrium between the solutes and the solvent is due to the theoretical plate which is present on the chromatographic column in one chromatographic column there are several thousands of such type of plates as the number of theoretical plate increases efficacy of column also increases and for a given length of a chromatographic column number of theoretical plates are more if height of the plate is small so we can easily calculate the number of theoretical plates small n by the formula small n is equal to l by h so here we discuss about the uh, column chromatography we know that this is adsorption type of chromatography in that the stationary phase uses a solid the stationary phase adsorb the components of a mixture while the mobile phase desorbs the component of mixture in the adsorption type of chromatography different components of the mixture absorbs to a different extent of the stationary phase hence cause the uh, greater separation second one is the partition type of chromatography in that the uh, stationary phase uses a liquid okay and the separation takes place due to the differential partition or the distribution of the components of the mixture for the preparation of column here the column is prepared by carefully packing a solid material here we use a silica gel or alumina for the uh, packing material for the column height of the column is generally 10 to 90 cm and inner diameter is 0.5 to 2 cm while preparing a column care is taken that no air bubble should remain in the column at least half of the column is filled with the stationary phase method of separation for the column chromatography is a small amount of mixture is to be separated is placed at the top of the column and then the mobile phase uh, called as a eluting solvent is poured into the column with a constant rate as a solvent passes over a small band desorbed or partition of the sample component takes place a component which is a weakly held or less adsorbed is a move first while components which are strongly held is move afterward thus a different zones of sample components are formed in a chromatographic column then the separation takes place on the basis of extents of the adsorption of a different components of a mixture on the uh, solid surface the term elution is used in the technique is the solution coming out of a column is called as a eluate and the different zone of the components are eluted by the mobile phase and uh, collected in the separate containers this is the diagram of a typical column uh, chromatography we can easily observe that the uh, packing of the uh, column and the uh, solid packing material uh, than the solvent which used for the separation then the sample mixture is loaded on the top of the column and the different bands which are formed during the column chromatographic separation next type of the column uh, sorry next type of chromatography is ion exchange chromatography 
uh, first we discuss about the properties of ion exchangers. They are insoluble in waters and organic solvent such as the benzene, carbon tetrachloride, ethers, etc. They are chemically inert and denser than water. The ion exchangers are complex in nature, like polymeric in nature. The exchangers have active ions that can exchange with other ions present in a surrounding solution. First, we discuss about the cation exchangers. The cation exchangers are the resins having a sulfonic acid or the carboxylic acid group. The cation exchange can be represented by the uh, equation. And this is the equation how the cation exchange is done in, on the ion exchange chromatography. Okay, ion exchanger resin having a RCOH group while the M plus that is a metal ion in solution that uh, exchange with that the resin and it forms the RCOOM uh, in, on the resin while plus H plus in solution. Here we discuss about the types of cation exchangers. First type is the strong acid resin, example is the polystyrene sulfonic acid resin. They contain the SO3H sulfonic acid group. They are uh, effective from the pH 1 to 14. And these are used for the separation of amino acid, vitamins, peptides and the rare earth uh, elements etc. And the example of uh, such a type of um, resin is uh, Dovax 50, Diolite C20, Ambrolite IR120. Second type of uh, cation exchanger is the weak acid resin, example is the uh, polymethyl acrylic acid resin and such a type of resins weak acid resin containing the COOH group and they are effective uh, from the pH 5 to 14. And uh, these resins are used for the separation of uh, transition metals, acids, antibiotics and organic bases. An example of such a type of weak acid resin is uh, Amberlite IRC 15. Is, uh, these are the commercially available. Second part is the anion exchanger. Here first we discuss uh, here about the cation exchanger. Now these are the anion exchangers. These anion exchangers are the polymers of having a amine or the quaternary ammonium group. And the amine exchange can be represented by the uh, this equation. In that the anion exchanger resin having R NH3 plus OH minus group plus A minus that is the metal ion in the solution and the ex exchange with the uh, ion exchange resins plus it gives the OH minus in a solution. So this is a simple exchange uh, reaction or mechanism. Here uh, we discuss about the type of anion exchangers. First is a strong base resin that is the polystyrene uh, quaternary ammonium resin. That uh, resin is contained RNH3 plus OH minus or RNH3 plus Cl minus group. They are effective uh, for the pH 0 to 12. So these are uh, used for the separation of alkaloids, fatty acids, vitamin and the B complexes. Example of a strong base resin is the Amberlite IRA 400. The second type of an ion exchanger is the weak base resin. Example is the polystyrene tertiary amine resin and they contain the primary, secondary or the tertiary amine group and they are effective for the pH 0 to 9. And such a type of uh, weak base resins are used for the separation of uh, anions and the amino acid. And the example of uh, such a type of uh, weak base resins are the Amberlite IR45. This is a type of uh, anion exchangers. And this is a graphical representation, sorry, tabular representation in that table. There is a type of exchangers, cation exchanger and anion exchanger are given and the functional group exchanger group, functional exchanger groups are given and the uh, trade names which are commercially available in the market. So sulfonic acid group on the cation strong acid, uh, strong um, acid cations while weak acid having a carboxylic group. In the anion uh, exchanger resins, there is a strong base quaternary, uh, quaternary ammonium ion, while weak base it is a amine group. Then uh, next point about the ion exchange chromatography is the preparation of column. 
So procedure of the preparation of column uh, chromatography is used for the preparation of column of ion exchange chromatography. And in this uh, column, ion exchange resin is used as a stationary phase. Next point is the method of separation and this mechanism shows the method of separation, how they uh, get separated uh, like the, we also discussed this point in the uh, previous slide also. So uh, next important point is the elution, in that uh, case the definition of elution is the process of removing exchange ions from the resin is called as elution, while the solvent used for the elution is called as eluent and the solute which is come out of the column uh, which is called as a eluate. This is a typical ion exchange column and in that we can see that uh, how the different uh, types of uh, colored bands which are shown into the uh, column after the separation. Then next important point is the application of this ion exchange chromatography. So, this ion exchange chromatography can be used for the laboratory separations, purification of water and the uh, extraction of metals. Here uh, first we discuss about the separation of metal ions on anion exchangers. Uh, metal ions are first uh, converted to anionic uh, complexes by using the complexing agents. Okay. For example, here we consider the example of iron that can be converted into complex in the form of complex with FeCl4 minus. In that the concentrated HCl can form the complex with the many metal ions except the alkali metals and thus these metals can be easily separated by using the concentrated HCl. When uh, there are many metal ions they can be separated by the uh, decreasing HCl concentrations to the level at which the KD of the other metal ion is low. So next important point about the application of that uh, ion exchange chromatography. Uh, second application of ion exchange chromatography is the separation of amino acid. Here the adjustment of a suitable pH is very important in the separation of amino acids. The amino acids are exist in the three forms, we know that thus the positively charged uh, amino acids uh, are separated by using the cation exchanger while the negatively charged uh, is separated by using the anion exchanger and the amino acid exists in a zeuter ion form okay, at the isoelectric point. So this form bar passes through the both cation and anion exchanger and get separated. So this is the three forms of the amino acid that is the more acidic form while uh, more alkaline and the uh, zeuter ion form is shown here. Third application of the ion exchange chromatography is the purification of water. We know that the deionized or demineralized water is the water free from any cationic or anionic impurities. Water is allowed it to pass through the mixed ion exchange resins, cations and anions present in water exchange with the cations and anion present on the resin on the chromatographic column. Use of, we know that the different uses of deionized water. Uh, first we can use this uh, in the, con for the conductivity experiment. We also used in the uh, biological studies. We also use that uh, deionized water in a high uh, pressure boilers. Also used in a lead storage battery. And also used for the preparation of AgNO3 solution for the different experiment. This is all about the ion exchange chromatography. Next type of chromatography is the paper chromatography. We know that the analysis of unknown substance is carried out mainly by the flow of solvent on the specially uh, prepared the filter paper and that filter called as a paper chromatographic technique. Paper chromatography is a partition type of chromatography and uh, this is a chromatography water act as a stationary phase. Okay and uh, organic solvent is act as a mobile phase. Here mobile phase move over a stationary phase by the capillary action. The solute which are more soluble in water which is move slowly while the solute which are more soluble in mobile phase move faster from the mixture. Okay. Thus the separation of component takes place. Next important point is step involved in paper chromatography. First step is application of sample on the paper. Here a Wattman filter paper of a suitable uh, size is used 
near about 15 to 30 centimeter in length and 10 to 15 centimeter in width. A thin pencil line is drawn at the distance 2 centimeter from the bottom. Then a small quantity of mixture is dissolved in a minimum quantity of volatile solvent and the sample solution is uh, spotted on the baseline with the help of the capillary tube. Then the second is the uh, uh, saturations of the tank. The atmosphere of the tank must be saturated with the mobile phase before starting the development. For this solvent is added and tank is closed. This is the uh, picture shows that the spotting of the sample solution, how the baseline is drawn and the spotting is done on that baseline. Second picture is uh, shown the paper chromatographic setup in the uh, TLC or chromatographic jar. Next step is the development of the chromatogram. The paper is placed in the chamber with the one end dipping in the uh, developing solvent. In that uh, two types of development is there ascending development and descending development. In the ascending development solvent moves in upward direction by the capillary action while the descending development the solvent moves in a downward direction by the capillary action. Then the process of separation of components of a mixture in the form of bands or the in the form of spots of the pure substance at the different places on the chromatogram is known as the development of the chromatogram. This is uh, showing the ascending development of chromatogram while this picture is showing the descending development of uh, chromatogram which is uh, we discuss in our uh, earlier slide. So next important step is the location of the spot. For that we use the two methods for the location or finding out the spot. First one the physical method in that the paper is uh, observed under the UV light to locate the colored components while uh, here we use the uh, chemical method also for uh, location of the uh, spot in that the colorless components can be converted to colored by a reaction with the chemical reagent. Here generally use uh, chemical reagents for the uh, Comp colorless com components uh, is the um, K2CRO4 crystals like uh, iodine crystals uh, than the methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, tertiary butyl alcohol and the ninhydrin spray which is specially used for the uh, amino acid separation. Next important step is identification of components. We know that the identification is done by the calculating the RF value. RF value is the ratio of the distance traveled by given substance from the origin to the distance traveled by the solvent from the origin. So under the constant experimental conditions the RF value are uh, reproducible. Okay. The formula for the RF value is uh, RF value is equal to distance traveled by the substance divided by distance uh, traveled by the solvent. So this is the uh, how we can um, identify the RF value of the uh, component of the mixture. Next important po point is the applications of paper chromatography. Paper chromatography technique is used full uh, for the separation of very small amount of substance especially in the biochemistry then uh, separation of amino acids this technique is useful for the separation of a complex mixture like proteins then the separation of organic as well as inorganic substances and also this technique is useful for the separation of uh, mixture of the sugars. Next important type of chromatography is a thin layer chromatography uh, it is called as also TLC. So thin layer chromatography is an important technique used for the identification and the separation of a mixture into its individual components. The TLC is a solid liquid type of chromatography that consists of a solid stationary phase in that the thin layer of silica is coated on the glass plate while the uh, liquid act as a mobile phase in that this flows uh, liquid flows over the stationary phase. What is the principle of thin layer chromatography? The thin layer chromatography involves the distribution of components of a mixture to the separated between the two phases stationary phase and the mobile phase. The different components of mixture having a different solubility and the adsorption in a two phases. In TLC separation of the individual substances is based on their relative affinities towards the stationary phase and the mobile phase. The components with the more affinity towards the stationary phase travels slowly while components with a less affinity towards stationary phase travels faster. 
And then common leaf stationary phases in the uh, thin layer chromatography are the silica gel, alumina, cellulose powder. Sometimes the binding agents like the calcium sulfate and the plaster of Paris are used in the thin layer chromatography techniques. Here uh, some commonly used mobile phases are uh, when we use the mobile phase, we first uh, consider about the purity of the solvent or the mixture of the two or more solvent is used as a mobile phase. In that we can use the ethyl acetate, uh, petroleum ether, benzene, uh, CCL4, uh, carbon tetrachloride we can use as a mobile phase. Then the preparation of slurry is the important part in the thin layer chromatography. In that a small amount of stationary phase material is dissolved in a suitable solvent. Then the dry uh, TLC plate is uh, dipped into the slurry for the development of uniform thin layer on that plate. So plate is uh, dried to evaporate uh, solvent and the activated at the 110 degree Celsius. Then the chromatoplate, plates having a uniform layer of the finely divided solids on it, it called as a chromatoplate. Then the saturation of the tank uh, in which the we have to run the um, chromatoplate. In that for that a pure solvent or freshly prepared mixture of the solvent is poured into the tank and the tank is covered with the lid of, for the saturation. Then a mixture uh, to be analyzed is a dissolved in a small amount of the solvent and applied on the TLC plate as a spot using a capillary tube. Then plate is kept into the tank for some time and removed after the development. Then there are the different types of thin layer chromatography. First one is adsorption thin layer chromatography. This is the most common type of uh, TLC. Generally the silica gel or the alumina is used as a stationary phase. Second type of thin layer chromatography is a liquid liquid partition uh, chromatography. In this case the adsorb or uh, residual water is act as a stationary phase and uh, in this case the chromato plate is not activated by, by the heating. Uh, next type of the thin layer chromatography is the uh, ion exchange TLC. The ion exchange resin powder is used for the preparation of chromatoplate here and the strong acid cation exchangers and the strong uh, base anion exchangers are selected on the basis of the mixture to be separated. Next important type uh, is the size exclusion uh, thin layer chromatography. Here the super fine Spray X is used for the uh, um, preparation for the chromatoplate and the gel is soaked in water for 4 days and then spread on the plate and the development time for such a plate is 8 to 10 hours. There are the different mobile phases used in the TLC. For that the pure solvent or a mixture of the two or more solvent is used as a mobile phase in that uh, we have earlier discussed like the ethyl acetate, petroleum ether, benzene, carbon tetrachlorides are used generally. Uh, mixed solvent gives the better separation in case of the thin layer of chromatography. Next important point is the detection of the spot. For that first we use the iodine chamber for the detection of spot in that the developed plate is uh, exposed to the iodine vapors colorless spot becomes a uh, colored. Second technique use of a sulfuric acid for the detection of uh, spot in that a 4 ml of sulfuric acid in 100 ml of methanol is sprayed on that plate for the detection of a organic compound. And the third option for the detection of uh, spot is the uh, ninhydrin spray is used for the detection of amino acid. And the fourth one is the plate is observed under the UV light for the detection of spot. These are the uh, typical diagram how the plate is run in the uh, TLC chamber in that the solvent is there then the sample spot on that TLC and the lid which is used to cover the TLC chamber. In the second uh, diagram we observe the measurement of RF value of the different components of the mixture A, B and C from the origin to uh, solvent front. Next important part is advantages of TLC or the paper chromatography. First advantage of TLC is it gives a very sharp uh, separation. Second one is it can be used in organic, inorganic biochemistry and also in a pharmaceutical chemistry. Third advantage of the TLC or the paper chromatography, it is a faster than the paper chromatography and it gives a reproducible RF value, it is the most important uh, uh, one. 
Second one is it can be used for the adsorption, partition and uh, ion exchange chromatography. These are some advantages of thin layer chromatography over the uh, paper chromatography. Next one is the advantages and limitation of all the chromatographic techniques. First we discuss here advantages of chromatographic technique. First advantage is that the component which uh, shows a greater similarities in the physical as well as chemical properties are easily separated by such a type of techniques. Second advantage is technique is a very sensitive even 0.1 microgram of the compound can be detected by this technique. Third one is the apparatus or the equipments required for such a type of technique is a very simple and they are easily available. These are the advantages of the chromatographic technique. While there are some limitations also, first limitation is that incomplete recovery of the sample from by this technique. Second one is the adsorption depends on the physical state of the adsorbent. While the third limitation of such a technique, it is a difficult to get the adsorbent of a same quantity, uh, sorry quality every time. These are the some limitation of uh, this technique. And finally, here we discuss the application of uh, chromatography. This uh, chromatographic technique is used for the purification and identification of different organic as well as inorganic compounds. In the synthetic chemistry, it is used to find out the progress of the reaction and quality of the product. Uh, that is, it is used for the monitoring of reaction. Then the detection of mixture of uh, terpene oil, vitamins, uh, chlorophylls, steroids, such a type of uh, technique is useful. Next important application of the chromatography is the identification of sugar in urine. And another important uh, application of this technique is in the forensic science. So it is used for the detection of uh, poisons and the metal ions. These are the some important application of uh, all the chromatographic techniques. So uh, this is all about the today's session. In the finally, here we discuss about the summary of today's session. Dear student, in today's session, here we discuss the uh, chromatography technique definition of the chromatography and the some basic uh, behind the chromatographic technique then here we discuss about the types of uh, chromatography or the we can say that the classification of chromatography then we discuss some uh, types of chromatography in that the column chromatography ion exchange chromatography paper chromatography thin layer chromatography uh, here all these type uh, we discuss and after that we had discussed the advantages and limitation of chromatographic techniques and finally in today's session we discuss about the application of chromatography. So this is all about the today's session. Dear student, on the basis of today's session, there is a session assignment for you. You have to solve some questions on the basis of today's session and send me on the our Google Classroom for the FYBSC class. In that first, first question uh, for the assignment is the uh, define the chromatography. We have to write the definition of chromatography. Second question is the right uh, short note on the chromatographic classification and the third question is explain the thin layer chromatography, technique of thin layer chromatography. So uh, solve all these questions and send me on the Google Classroom for the FYBSC class. Dear student, this is all about the today's session. In next session, we continue this point uh, chromatographic technique and also we will discuss the different another type of chromatographic techniques in our uh, next, uh, next online session. So thank you very much.